What's up everybody? I am here in Nijmegen in the Netherlands to pick up my new bike, which is right there. It is a 2018 Tracer that replaces my 2015 Tracer. And uh, I want to make this video to show you the differences between the two models, uh, mainly because a lot of people commented on some forums and groups that there's not such a big difference between the old Tracer and the new. Uh, that justifies the change but I have a 2015 tracer and there's a lot of small differences and some big ones from the 15 to the 18 not so much from the 17 to the 18 so I want to highlight all the changes that have been uh, done by Yamaha between the first tracer and this new version so come with me so first big change is the bodywork right this this new tracer has a much more round surface also here uh, there's a new piece here the rear has been redesigned the grips for the passenger are new um, so there's been some redesign on the bodywork the tank shape is the same but then some of these pieces are different you can see here there's a more angular uh, design than here this is more round also the front has been very well redesigned so in the old tracer there's a very angular, very flat lines. And on the new one, these are much more round. There's a bump here, and this is all more smooth, let's say. Also the black color now starts here instead of right at the edge, like in the old one. And these lower panels have also been redesigned uh, from the straight line that we had here. On the new one, there's a little curve here, and there's some slight changes so the second change i want to highlight is a larger subframe um, it's not mentioned much but the subframe has actually been uh, improved or um, increased to have more passenger seat, uh, space also to carry the new bags um, and the old one is slightly smaller another improvement that you can actually not see right now is the cases this new GT version comes with the side cases in the same color as the bike these cases are the same that were available in the United States but they were never available in Europe I don't know why uh, probably because of you know weight limits or something like that but the new bike comes with the cases they are not assembled yet so I cannot really show them to you so something else that has changed is the seat now i have already installed the optional comfort seat but the seat that comes with this bike uh, as standard is um, thicker than the old one so much more comfortable also for the passenger and the shape is also different this one is more round um, however even though it's thicker and the seat height is higher than the previous model um, it is slightly narrower here so Yamaha says the it is exactly the same um, length from the seat to the floor uh, inside the leg so what I mean is if you sit on both bikes the old one and the new one uh, you will feel the same even though this is taller but it's also narrower now something new that I've also cho showed already a little bit is the new grab rails this one this ones are supposedly more comfortable easy for the pillion to grab they're bigger the older ones were more straight line and a bit more aggressive so another major difference between the old bike and the new is the screen it's hard to see with this lighting but you can see this screen is larger or wider let me say it is not taller than the previous one but the previous one was very narrow here and uh, everybody complained about this screen so Yamaha has redesigned the screen to this version. I've already heard um, on the internet that this is not, not much better than the old one, but I will have to test it myself to give you my opinion. So something small that can go unnoticed is the length of these stems that Yamaha has increased so that the mirrors stay a little bit more outside and you can actually see past your elbows. Uh, these are now 30 millimeters longer the old ones were very short and i actually had an extender here you can only see in the backlight but 
I had an extender to make them longer, but the original ones were very short. So another difference for the new one is with the new screen, there's also a new screen adjustment method that is much easier. You can do it with one hand, while on the previous bike, you had to fiddle with all these screws right here. So it was a bit of a, a faff to change. This one is much easier. The handlebars on the new version are narrower. So they are narrower by 16.5 millimeters, which is not a lot. It's the distance between, let's say here and here. So this is a bit narrower. However, another improvement was the handguards that they were changed. So these ones are also narrower than these ones. So the handlebars are narrower by 16 millimeters. Complete set is narrower by 100 millimeters. Uh, even though the handlebars are only 16 millimeters narrower. So something for the passenger comfort, these new foot pegs are 33 millimeters lower for the passenger, so they can have a more comfortable ride and a little bit more legroom. Something also that's new on the new GT is the hand grips. They are uh, warm, so they're um, um, heated grips, while in the previous version they were not for, uh, as standard. I did install the heated grips on the bike and they integrated with a, with a cluster system. You could operate them with the buttons on the bike, but now this comes as standard and it's very helpful in the winter. So one of the nicest things of the new bike is this TFT screen that comes right from the R1. It's very hard to see with this light. Let me put it like this. So I haven't, it's the first time I'm looking at it. I don't know exactly how it works. And I plan on making a video about it, but it is a fully um, color dash, which is very nice. And people have been saying it's a small screen. I'm looking at it and it's actually pretty fine. The size of this TFT screen is the same as this useful area, right? So this screen is not here, but this color screen is about the same size as the previous one. So it's a really nice screen and it changes color at night and things like that. I'll do a video on it. So something that's also been requested a lot is a longer swing arm so that the bike is a little bit more stable. This swing arm is almost six centimeters longer than the previous one, although the shape is pretty much the same. Something that's also new is the new uh, rear mudguard. It's slightly redesigned. Uh, I don't know if it provides more protection or not, we'll see. So the new suspension is now fully adjustable in the front. Uh, it's a um, Kiaba fork and it's easily recognizable a GT version because they have the gold forks while the normal version doesn't. Now I don't know exactly what other regulations are here on the new suspension or adjustments but uh, I guess I'll find out. So the shock now has a remote uh, preload adjuster and there's a 25 step uh, rebound damping adjustment. Something that's new on the new bike is the quick shifter where you can actually shift up without uh, removing the, the throttle or touching the throttle. It is not shifting down uh, what is called an auto blipper, so it's only shifting up. This is also standard. Another important upgrade for my usage is the cruise control, which is now standard. On the old one was not even an option. So this is really nice. It's going to help on the long distance riding. I look forward to use it. This new version also includes the assist and slipper clutch, which was um, introduced in 2016 or 2017 model. I'm not sure, but my 15 didn't have this. And I have this on my XSR from 2016 and it's really nice. It's a lighter uh, clutch and um, it has a slipper function so it doesn't lock the rear when you downshift. So uh, it's, a new, it's new for me, let's say. There's also a new uh, clutch cable. As you can see, this is a round curve and in the old version, it was a little bit angled so there was a lot of problems with this cable snapping at this angle because it was just too aggressive as you can see here and this was fixed I think on the 16 version my 15 still didn't have it and now I have it on the 2018 version something that has also been fixed on later versions of the Tracer but not on mine is the oil plug 
as you can see here it's now facing forward on my bike is under the oil pan so it um, it hits the ground easily and can break and drop all the oil so Yamaha fixed it on later versions not on the 15 and this new GT version 2018 also has this improvement something that has also been up updated in newer Yamaha in new tracer versions but not on mine is the oil cooler this square piece here the older version has tendency to corrode and break off and the new version has a updated design and finally a couple of other things that's new on this bike that i cannot really show you is um, the tcs adjustment has two modes while on my 15 only had one mode and the other thing is the memory of the ride mode so there's a, a b and standard which on the 15 tracer every time you turned off the bike it would uh, there's a b here it would reset back to the standard mode and now it's it stores the mode that we want to ride on so guys apparently i was editing the video and i forgot to record an outro a goodbye so sorry about that i guess i was just too anxious to get on the bike and actually start riding while filming this video so here's the outro uh, thanks for watching uh, let me know in the comments if i missed some difference between the 15 and the 18 uh, motorcycle or if you have any specific questions um, I will try to make a video out of it as I did in the past uh, and in the meantime um, yeah just keep riding thanks bye